not only that it's important for your engine health but it also delivers greater performance if you're using the right fuel octane rating is available only for gasoline engines in diesel engines it's important to have a great cetane rating which i'll be discussing in a separate video octane rating is basically get the gasoline's property to resist to knocking or to auto ignition if the air fuel mixture ignites before it's supposed to it will damage your engine and you will have a lower overall performance even if your car doesn't require a premium fuel a higher octane rating by using a higher octane rating fuel you will feel a slighter difference the throttle response will be greater and you'll have a few horsepower more that's because premium octane rating fuels use different performance additives. If your car has a higher compression ratio, it means that you will need a higher octane rating for your car. This car has a 1.6 engine with a compression ratio of 10.2 and the manufacturer recommends a 95 octane rating. I'm currently on 98 octane rating and it feels a little bit better overall. I'm not saying that it doesn't drive well with 95 but with 98 it's slightly better, especially in the throttle response. Cars with direct injection have bigger compression ratios. If you would run a Lamborghini Huracan with a compression ratio of 12.5 on 91 octane rating fuel you will literally destroy the engine it will produce a lot of engine knocking manufacturers haven't exceeded in creating cars with compression ratios of over 13 just because of this reason fuel will auto ignite so should you upgrade to using a higher octane rating fuel well if it isn't necessary or if you don't drive aggressively or if your engine doesn't require at all uh, spending extra money on higher octane rating fuel will be useless as i told you what i love about premium octane rating fuel is that it gives you a better throttle response i will discuss soon about city rating in diesel engines which is the opposite of, of octane rating 